Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. How many of you remember the ABC situation comedy Webster starring Emmanuel Lewis? I sure do. However, Webster isn't the first thing I remember seeing the young actor in. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the crazy story of how Emmanuel Lewis became that character that we all know as Webster. Now, I think the first time I ever saw Lewis was in a series of commercials for Burger King from around 1982. Burger King presents Broiling vs. Frying. I just can't figure it out. Everybody knows strain broiling beats frying nearly two to one. It's all over town. And McDonald's is frying their hamburgers all over town. Well, I like them flame broiled. So what are you going to do? I got it. Go to Burger King. Aren't you hungry for Burger King now? Now, Lewis was also in commercials for Life Cereal, Colgate Toothpaste, and Jell-O Pudding alongside Bill Cosby. It sure seemed like he was everywhere. Now, around the time that Emmanuel Lewis was doing all of these commercials, former NFL football player Alex Karras and actress Susan Clark had gotten married, and the two had recently pitched an idea to ABC for a television show called Another Ball Game, in which Karras would star as an ex-NFL football player who falls in love with a socialite consumer advocate played by Clark well on a cruise. ABC picked it up for the fall of 1983 with Paramount Television as a packager, but major changes would occur before the premiere. You see, after seeing Emmanuel Lewis in a Burger King commercial, Lou Ehrlich, the programming chief with ABC, wanted to put the young, pint-sized actor into a series. And they wanted to do it sooner than later as there was some concern that Lewis might hit a growth spurt and outgrow the character. The producers of Another Ball Game were approached with the idea of working Lewis into that show, and both Karras and Clark really liked the idea of having their characters, two newlyweds, adopting a young black boy. And that's how the character of Webster was created. Now I can see why ABC might have thought the concept of the show would be a huge success, as it was very similar concept to a show that was extremely popular over on the rival network NBC. While the first season of Webster saw fairly strong ratings, it seems that behind the camera, not everyone was thrilled with how things were going. Karis and Clark thought that the show would have more of a focus on their characters, and as the show went on, more and more of the plots were focused on Webster. The show's ratings slipped during the fourth season, and ABC canceled the program in May of 1987. However, there was still a little life left for the show as Paramount decided to exercise their option to keep the show in production and would continue to produce the show for syndication for two additional seasons. Emmanuel Lewis won the People's Choice Award for four consecutive years beginning in 1984 for his performance as Webster. So there you have it, the crazy story of how television execs took an existing pilot and changed it around to showcase the talents of a very young Emmanuel Lewis, who, by the way, was 12 years old at the time that he played the seven-year-old Webster on TV. Today, Lewis stays busy pursuing one of his other talents, singing. In Japan, he is a successful recording artist. He records his songs fluently in Japanese and to this day, he makes frequent visits to Japan to sing and perform. Now what are your thoughts? Did you watch Webster back in the 80s? I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, where I talk about music, television shows, and movies. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day.